Hello friends. Today is the first Sunday of the Advent season. Today I'll spend a few minutes and share with you the significance of hanging of the greens. The hanging of the greens is a Western Christian ceremony in which many congregations and people adorn their churches and buildings with Advent and Christmas decorations. And it prepares us for the nativity, the coming of the Christ child. How shall we prepare this house for the birth of Jesus? With branches of cedar, the tree of excellence and strength. How shall we prepare this house for the eternal Christ? With garlands of pine and fir, whose leaves are ever living, ever green. How shall we prepare this house for the prophet of Galilee? With wreaths of holy and ivy, telling of his passion, death and resurrection. How shall we prepare our hearts for this revelation of God? By hearing again the words of the prophets and the promises of God. For in the story of Jesus, we see revealed the transforming power of God. We are reminded anew of God's vision of wholeness, justice, and peace for all creation. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together. Loving God, we long for the simple beauty of Christmas, for all the old familiar melodies, words, and symbols that remind us of that great miracle when God who made all things came one night as a babe to lie in the crook of a woman's arm. But in that longing, let us even more yearn for your renewed presence among us, even as we celebrate and expect the coming of your Son. Come now and rise among us. In Christ's glorious name we pray. Amen. Today we prepare for the coming of the Christ with the hanging of the greens. Evergreens, including pine, fir, and cedar, symbolize that Christ is ever present, that he is the tree of life. Holly puts forth bright red berries in the dead of winter, which symbolizes endless life. The sharpness of the bush and redness of the berries have associated with the crown of thorns Christ wore and the blood Christ shed for us with his crucifixion. Ivy is considered a symbol of love because of its persistent growth and everlasting love and life. The Christmas tree is highly symbolic, conveying the life of Christ and the meaning of Christmas through commonly found items and easily understood symbols borrowed or modified from other sources. Small lights are used on our tree, first to represent each person who makes up the body of Christ in the church, and to remind us that by working together, as do all of these lights, we can shine as brightly in our world as the light of Christ. What you do to the least of these, you have done to me. As the lights of the Christmas tree beam, may we be reminded of the love of our church family and the unconditional love of God. The word Christmas comes from a combination of Christ's monograms, Christmas are usually handmade by members of local congregations in colors of white and gold. Each Christmas has a special meaning. For instance, the lamp is a symbol of the word of God. The manger reminds us to be humble and represents the simplicity of the birth and life of Jesus. The Epiphany star represents the star of Jacob and the star that led the wise men to Jerusalem. 
most Christmas greenery reflected European traditions. But one colorful plant, the poinsettia, which looks like a flaming star, is native to the North American continent. The people of Mexico and Central America call the brilliant tropical plant the flower of the holy night. The poinsettia is a many-pointed star that has become a symbol of the star of Bethlehem. Let us now affirm what we believe. Hear now this affirmation of faith. We have decorated the tree with symbols of our faith. The Christmas we use represent the life and inspiration of the church in times past, the witness of the church today, and the hope of the church for generations to come. And as we share these symbols, let us see what we believe. We believe in God, creator, sustainer, and in Jesus Christ, God's only son who reigns over us. Alpha and Omega, light of light, prince of peace, shalom, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem, cradled in a manger, heralded by shepherds, magi, and angelic hosts, light of light, shining like stars, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to all. We believe in the Holy Spirit, comforter, heavenly dove, spirit of love. We believe the church is the body of Christ, the communion of saints, the people of God. We believe in the word of life, sent from God, living, transforming, and challenging. We believe that Christ has conquered life and death, that he was crucified, dead, and buried, offering life everlasting, bursting forth with hope. May the Lord bless and keep you safe this Advent season and always have a blessed and wonderful day. Goodbye for now.